I'm Carl Vesmeyer, and I work here as an interpreter of Somali refugees. And in here we have uh, different nationalities of interpreters, as uh, we have different nationalities of refugees who come here and seek for asylum from this office. And this is the office of the Prime Minister of the Department of Refugees in Sao Paulo, Kaguru. So, as we receive refugees in here, first they have to proceed from all the Kampala police station. And after they finish from there, then they come here and with a small card and we give them appointment. Then after they come back, then we register them, we take their pictures, and we put their information in the system of the government, and we take from their fingerprints. Then after that, then we give them asylum seeker. It is a certificate of asylum seeker. And we give most of it for those who are looking for asylum. And there's another document that we give also, it's called the prima facie, and that we give for urgent refugees. I think like Burundians and South Sudanese, we give them like a prima facie, which expires like uh, two years or one year. Then after giving the asylum seeker, we give them another appointment for the RSD interview. Then we take to the community. For the community, then they will decide that the person, if he, is, if he can legally stay in the country or if he can't. And they either accept the grant for a document called Form C. It's a notification letter for granted document by the government for the committee. If he's rejected, then he has still to appeal. Then he will get appeal, then he will redo the interview. Then for the third time, they dismiss, which means that he can't stay in the country after 90 days. He has to go for another country for asylum. And the documents that we give also is um, like giving IDs to the people. I think that is most probably what we do for refugees. And if they need help for medical help, mostly they go to interact. That's all. I'm a senior clinician working at Chiseni Refer Center 4, stationed currently at Outpatient Department or OPD. Chiseni Refer Center 4 is a government facility that is uh, under KCCA or Kampala Capital City Authority. It is uh, actually found in Central Division. At Chiseni Refer Center 4, we we provide services to different people. We have the nationals and we have the refugees. We have different, we, we have different services that we provide at this facility. And uh, actually we designed it in a, a way that each service is uh, easily accessed by somebody, by anybody who enters this facility. For example, we have, uh, we have outpatient department which is OPD, we have Antinental Department, we have uh, Family Planning, we have Immunization, we have Dental, we have Eye Clinic, we have uh, Teenage Center, we have uh, HIV Clinic, and also we have uh, Circumcision Unit. And uh, we also have, we, we also have uh, like, uh, I would say, maternity services, but this time we have a theater whereby we carry out operations, cesarean, cesarean sections. 
Uh, she said in FS Center 4, currently receives a big number of patients, like I've talked to the departments. We estimate that on an average day, we are able to receive like 900 patients in all the departments I've mentioned of. But at OPD, we get 150 to 250 patients on a daily basis. Services are free of charge to each and every person who enters here. Okay, among, among, among the numbers we see at Chisenyi, some are refugees. And as you know, it is a government policy that refugees can also access services in our government facilities like uh, the nationals. And many of the refugees we receive here are sent by inter-aid. They are directed by inter-aid to go to different government facilities in Kampala, depending on where they stay. Like if they stay in the central division, they come to Chiseni. If they stay in Kawempe, they can also go to Kawala. If they stay to like, like if they stay in Rubaga, they can go also to Kawala. If they stay in Makindia, they can go to Chisubu. So they go to different government facilities that are under KCCA. Here in Chiseni, we receive many, 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 many refugees. Others come for antenatals, some come for treatment, some come for services like uh, counseling because they are victims of war, they have been tortured, they have been assaulted, and others come for common, common illness like malaria, like maybe respiratory tract infections, and others. Now, when they come here, they are received like any other people. They are, they are, they are, okay, they, but they have to follow protocol, of course. They have to register and they have to make lines until they see clinicians or nurses or lab technicians. But at Chiseni, what we have, we normally have a, a cooperation between, we have a, like, a, I may call it a memorandum, between uh, inter-aid and the, and the Chiseni Refer Center. Not only Chiseni Refer Center, but all KCCA facilities. Sometimes they call us for outreaches, they call us for maybe some informative activities that are aimed at benefiting refugees. But what we do basically, like saying here, we assess refugees and we manage them accordingly. But the challenges we get with refugees is that many of them, many of the refugees we receive here, as I told you, majority are victim of war. So they have been actually assaulted and they need services that actually go beyond what Chiseni can do. For example, X-ray, majority need X-ray services, others need CT scans, others need like Doppler. They need advanced, what I say, advanced diagnostic procedures that we don't have to Chiseni, we don't have at Chiseni. But normally what we do, there is um, an arrangement which is done by inter-aid. So they normally tell us to send such patients to inter-aid, whereby they can send them like, to Kampala Imaging Centers for those services. The other challenge also that we have is we run out of uh, drugs sometimes, though not always, but also there is that arrangement that is done by inter-aid for some items, some drugs that are not here, they are sent to inter-aid where they are accessed. But when we get our surprise, of course, they get them. I'm Rechungula Gedevas, a senior clinician at Chisene Refer Center for a government facility supported by KCCA. I stand with refugees. Will you stand with me? My name is uh, Titi Gurimontuga Rukiko. I'm a refugee, Congolese by nationality. I'm in Uganda now five years ago. And uh, I'm working here at uh, Kiseni Health Center as a community health volunteer. I'm just here sending by Interred Uganda. Uh, I just assist refugees those who have problem of language barrier. So I'm um, here to guide them, to interpret for them. 
So we are urging everybody, any of you here, first identify where you stay and know where your nearest health center is, which is government aided. Nungu yu aramusu vijengo, niba uvangitebe, ugomba kumenya ese, ibitaro minyegere changu vure orindi hafi niri. Maki inyetu kwa nyakisubu, nyakua kisubu kwe chuo, kisubu ya. Kama una una unaisha unaisha una 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 bichi ya mwenga ala kunaidia na nikidogo kwe. Uh, most uh, most of refugees they don't know English and they don't know Luganda, so I used to interpret for them in Swahili, uh, French, Lingala, and the Kinyarwanda, and sometimes Kirundi. Um, since I'm here, it is now three years working with uh, KCCA, that's government hospitals. Uh, what I realized is that really. Refugee, both refugees and nationals, they are receiving uh, the same treatment without any uh, discrimination. Uh, but the main issue is that sometimes there is no enough stock of drugs. There is no uh, drugs and uh, sometimes when it is to refer a, a, a patient, the ambulance they are not available at that at that time to so they have to call to call